Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing another video reply to a question I get asked regarding Sony Vegas. Uh, unfortunately, I think I might have deleted this question because I cannot find it in my inbox, but it was asked at least three times. Uh, not, you know, just recently, but from February till now it was asked at least three times. And it was asked like once, like within the last week, which is why it inspired me to do this. So, um... It's kind of hard to explain, and you're probably not going to be too interested in this tutorial unless, of course, you asked the question, because it has to do with Guitar Hero, and a lot of my subscribers either don't play video games or don't play Guitar Hero, but um, you might uh, find this effect interesting anyways. So, again, I deleted the message, or I just don't know where it is right now. So, unfortunately, I don't know who specifically asked the question, but it was asked at least three times. So, uh, the effect is kind of uh, splitting two videos so that they're put together. Uh, this is a famous YouTuber called Guitar Hero Phenom. I guess he's a really good Guitar Hero player. And uh, in most of his videos, uh, when he's uh, playing Guitar Hero, you can see both, you know, the this thing. I don't even know what it's called. You can see all the notes, and you can also see him playing them. Like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. This isn't what Guitar Hero looks like when you actually play it. When you're playing it, uh, through your eyes it'll look something like this you can see the notes and then you can this is just like the game background like it's sort of difficult to explain but basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna keep this thing here this thing here and this thing here and all the background we're gonna change to the clip of your choice like what this guy does here so um, I hope you understand what we're gonna be doing because I don't even really understand but yeah, so you're going to need masking to do this again because we're using uh, masking, so you need pro. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So I'm going to import uh, a clip that I captured from YouTube. It's just somebody playing Guitar Hero. It just looks like this. So yeah, someone playing Guitar Hero and doing a good job. Now let's uh, insert a new video track. Uh, make sure that the Guitar Hero clip is on top. So right now we have an empty video track on top and then the Guitar Hero clip underneath. So we can just drag the tracks up like this. And now we have this empty video track underneath everything. Now let's go to File, Import Media, and drag in a clip. I'll just do this one. I used it in my last video. I don't see why I shouldn't use it in this one. So uh, this is the clip I'm using, and uh, this is the Guitar Hero clip. So on the Guitar Hero clip, the top clip, let's go to the Pan and Crop tool, and let's go to Mask. It's in the bottom left uh, corner of the window. It's a little checkbox. Make sure it's checked. Now let's go to the Anchor Creation tool, and let's start with this uh, main thing. I think it's called like a fretboard or something. I don't know much about guitar. Okay, so we're just going to make a mask around it. It's pretty easy because it's just straight lines. Uh, I'll undo that. That didn't look too good. Just make a mask around it. Just like that. See? So I made a mask around it, and I'm going to feather it. So go to Feather Type under Path and make sure it's at both and raise it a bit. I'll put it at 4. Now if we exit this, we can see the fretboard, if that's what it's called, and you can see the clip behind it. If we play it, uh, it's lagging right now because I'm also rendering a video, but sorry about that. So yeah, you can see the fretboard and the gameplay, and you can also see the clip behind, which is uh, what the effect basically is. We can also go back here to the pan and crop tool, and let's go back to our anchor creation tool here. We can also use this thing, whatever it's called, and make sort of a, have another thing in here. I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Let me undo that and stretch this one a bit. Whoops. Okay, I'm not doing a good job right now, but whatever. Okay, so I got this part in. Let's go to feather type both. Yada, yada, yada. Do the same thing for this thingy here. Oh wait, we gotta exit that. But there you go, you can see that too. Let's go back. Now we have to create a third mask. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, yeah, there's a point here. I gotta delete it. So to do this, just go to the normal edit tool, click on this thing, and hit delete. Now we can go back to our creation tool and mask out this thingy. Sorry I'm calling everything thingies. I don't play a lot of video games. Might be hard to believe, but it's actually kind of true. This is pretty boring. Okay, so I'm just masking out this rock meter. Okay, there we go. Now let's feather it. Okay. 
Okay. So if we look at the viewer preview, this isn't a good example, but we have the rock meter here, the fretboard here, and the score here. And you can also see the clip, just like uh, what you guys are asking how to do. So that's basically how you do it. All you got to do is mask out the things that you want to keep, and uh, the rest of the video will be replaced by your other video, if that makes any sense. It's kind of difficult and uh, confusing, but it's easy to do. Like, I know I just said it's difficult, but I meant it's difficult to understand. Okay, I just want to end this tutorial because I have no idea what I'm talking about. But I hope you understand what we are doing, and I hope you learn from this tutorial. So, oh my god, thanks for watching. Later.